visited uh, one very nice place I really wanted to go to for the last three years I guess I never had a chance but today I accidentally passed by this place and I decided to go there it's called the walnut house and it's like a little bakery and cafe very cozy and um, they also they are like a um, social project because they give some percentage of their profit to the organization that helps women who, who face like difficulties in their lives who suffer from domestic violence for example or like have some other issues and they help them to come back to the normal life and I really like these kind of projects and initiatives because I think they can really make a difference so I really wanted to um, I really wanted to support this this place and this bakery and I bought some cookies and they were amazing by the way I really liked them and uh, yeah then I went to one of my favorite places in Lviv it's called Proist Krivalipa the crooked linden passage or something like this I spent some time there with the book and my cookies and um, it's a very cozy place for me although it's pretty touristic and there are always a lot of people there but I like being there for some reason for some reason I find some peace and quiet there and surprisingly I can focus on the book so it's like a perfect place for me to take some rest and read although it's pretty crowded and there are always people going around like moving around but I really liked it and today was in general a very peaceful day and I have a day off today so I had some proper rest and I really enjoyed today by the way look at this view behind me so that's the best background I could have chosen because it's sunset now and it's so beautiful I just can't I love this city so much So a quick update on what's happened today. Um, I just came back from the party. That's actually my first party, like a proper party with dancing, um, dancing on the rooftop, enjoying sunset. Uh, so yeah, it's the first party in a year, I guess, or even more, even more than a year. And it feels so weird. Like, I forgot how is it like to dance and be around other people. I thought I will get um, corona anxiety, but it was actually okay because I managed to stay away <laughs> from the crowd. It was great. I, I was so happy and the sunset was so beautiful and the location was very cool. It's called Fast Republic. A big space with different things to do and things to eat <laughs> and places um, to be and like different uh, opportunities for you to spend your free time also today we went to the um, exhibition it's the photo exhibition it's called uh, citizens and their 
ways, like their paths. It's about local people from Lviv who are showing us their favorite places and favorite um, like areas in the city and it was amazing the presentation was so nice because all the people were very cute and funny and felt it felt amazing again it felt amazing to be around people i i didn't attend these kind of events for a very long time and i must say i missed them so i just feel so fulfilled today so full of like positive emotions and good energy yeah and now i have to pack my suitcase because i am so shocked but tomorrow is my last day in this flat and i have to be away from here and i have to leave this place at 11 o'clock and i haven't even started to pack my stuff good night <laughs> Today, my friend Yevgen is showing us um, some new places and areas in Lviv. Um, we've already been in Sihiv with him, this like um, kind of a suburb area in Lviv, not very close to city center, quite far. But today we are close to city center. Yeah, on the streets I've never been to. It's very interesting because he knows everything like about every house and about every building. So yeah, gonna keep you updated. Uh, what a light! almost my last day in Lviv. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm a bit sad about it because I'm already so used to living here but I have to move forward I guess. Today we came to play some table tennis with Oksana because she found an amazing place to play. There are two table tennis tables in a very very nice location. There is a playground here, a football field. I'm here already for the third time. And by the way, it's very hard, as it turned out, to find a table tennis table in Ukraine because they're usually in a very very bad condition or they are just used by people to sit on and drink and like have this like little gathering party, I don't know. And it really pissed me off because I want to play for free, um, like outside, and I can do it. At least I managed to do it in Lviv and I'm very happy about it. 